He was more handsome than anybody before or after him. The most handsome man that has ever been in film, I think. And he had a charming personality, that Irish kind of... And, and, and he had the acting ability to go with it. But because he was so very handsome, they put him in costume pictures, uh, all sorts of... And, and uh, blood and sand, you know, uh, 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 things that uh, were, were full of, draw, uh, of spectacle. Swashbucklers. Swashbucklers, etc. And, uh, uh, and full of fights and whatever, but not much substance. And so he saw this as a, a vehicle to, pro to show people. Uh, he had the reputation of being a pretty boy just gorgeous. And I, I remember when I was about ooh, 15, 14, 15, in Hutchinson, Minnesota, uh, I, would, I, would, uh, I, I, I would earn money, let's say, by various ways, like setting people's hair, or I picked strawberries at three cents a basket, uh -huh. stoop labor in those days and um, whatever, and I would walk to town and see a matinee. And this particular Saturday afternoon, the movie was called Love is News, and it starred Tyrone Power and Loretta Young. And I fell in love with both of them simultaneously that day. That sort of fevered my... Uh, love of, of, of films. When I found that I was to work with Tyrone Power, I was about ready to faint, of course. And uh, uh, here I was, married. I had a daughter. And uh, I st but, but the idea, I mean, this whole crush of being 15 kind of was overwhelming in a way. And I thought, I, I, I just, I, I just, was, I didn't know how it was going to work or anything, but it would work just fine.